So the new Adobe Premiere Pro spring update is out now. What's new? Let's jump straight into it. Okay, so let's jump straight into Premiere. And the first update is the new redesigned and reimagined workspace for importing clips and creating your first project. Now, when we click a new project, we have this brand new window that looks very, very slick. So we have the project name at the top here and you can choose where to save your project right here and then select your location. So I'm gonna save this one as test. You can then import your initial media in the one window and from this left-hand side here. And then you can browse from each folder from your computer and from your hard drives below this. So I'm going to go in my hard drive and look for a folder of some clips I want to edit. Okay, so this is them. Now I can either select each one individually or I can highlight them all just like this. If you can't fit them all in, just use this slider here at the top to make the icons just that little bit smaller. You can also add these to a new bin on the right side here. Call it whatever you want and then automatically create a new sequence. Now, don't worry too much if you don't like how this looks. You can still create and import the old way, but let me know in the comments section below what you think of the new update. Do you prefer the new one or the old one? Now, I'm gonna click create and you can see they've all been added into my timeline automatically. Now, the next new feature is the new header bar at the top here, and that lets you navigate more easily into Premiere Pro with import, edit, and export tabs to access the main stages of your creation process. So you can quickly switch between each one, which I think is really great, and I really do like this. Also on the top right here, we have a new design for the workspace that allows you to drag in and out like so. And then if you look at this, we have this new icon here called workspaces that allows you to edit how you see your different workspaces. So I have the workspace tab selected and obviously if you deselect this, it will go away. You can also edit workspaces and you can either add more to be on show or drag the ones that you don't want to be on show as well. Another new nifty feature they've added is the ability to add more presets to the quick export. So click this tab here, and then this gives you the option to export. You can then add more presets at the bottom right here, and then whatever preset you've added will be saved for the next time when you want to get exporting, which is really good if you want to turn out some quick edits. Another little great feature they've added is the ability to go fully full screen. And they've got this full screen button now here, which is pretty nice. So the next big feature update is the fully redesigned export section. And I really like this. It's actually quite similar to Adobe Rush, which I think is a pretty good thing. It's nice and clear and concise. So instead of this being a separate window, it's now built in. So you don't have to close anything down. You can just switch from edit to export, which I think is great. And it makes editing a lot, lot faster in my opinion. And now in this, you now have the ability to export directly to different platforms, which I think is such a good feature. And it really brings Premiere Pro up to date with the likes of Final Cut. Before, I did feel like it was a little bit clunky. Um, they had so many sort of legacy formats and exports that it was very confusing if you were a new user. So now you can export straight to YouTube, to Twitter, and to other social networks, which let's be honest, is where a lot of videos are going these days. So we can now, for example, export straight to our YouTube channel and you can just click a button and just like that, you've got all the metadata on there, you've got the thumbnails and this is gonna upload that video in the background so you can go and do something else knowing your video is exporting and uploading directly to your channel. Now, if you work with other editors or in a team, you'll really like this new feature update featuring Frame.io. And it's actually now included as part of your Creative Cloud subscription. So it's built into Premiere Pro and After Effects. So you can use Frame.io to upload projects and assets and then share it for a review and receive comments in real time. So this means if you're working with a team, maybe you've done some edits, you can send this on to the boss or a team member. They can have a look at the video, leave comments at various sections throughout the video, and that will come straight back into Premiere and you can make those various changes. So that's super, super handy. Think of it a bit like Google Docs for video. Now I'm gonna save the best 
for last. And this is the new auto color update within Premiere Pro. And they've added this to the Lumetri color. So this will auto correct the basic colors using Adobe Sensei technology. So I'm gonna pull up a clip that I shot using S-Log3 so I can see how this works with a flat profile. So now I'm going into my basic correction and click auto and there you go. It's gone through each one and tweaked it to make it look the best it can. So you can see it's already looking a lot better and you can change the intensity to obviously increase or decrease this uh, to get it perfect the way you want it. And I think, you know, looking at this, you can see it's done a pretty good job with it. But what I would recommend is just make sure you add your LUT conversion first. So we're gonna convert the uh, log to Rec 709. So I'm gonna undo this, add an adjustment layer like so, place it above the clip, and then I'm gonna go into the creative and add the correct LUT to convert it to Rec 709. And then I'm gonna select the clip and then use the auto feature. Just tweak the intensity a bit here and you can see it looks a lot better. Now make sure to use this auto feature on the clip itself and not the adjustment layer. So it only color corrects that clip and not every other clip that you might have below it. So there we go, they are some of the new updates in the spring edition of Adobe Premiere Pro 2022. Let me know what you thought of those in the comment section below. And if you're into Premiere Pro, I think you're gonna enjoy this little video here. So I'll see you in that one.